Hello world! In this video we're going to explore how we can use open source large language models inside the Power Query Editor in Power BI. So far, of course, everyone knows that uh, Microsoft has implemented the Copilot in Power BI, which means that we can leverage Copilot abilities, for instance, if we want to ask questions about how to write a DAX function or anything like that. But of course, the Copilot itself is, uh, well, a paid feature, right? It is not available for free. And what about using our own locally hosted large language models, open source ones, like for instance, the new Llama 3.2 model from Meta or other kinds of models which are available. How does this work? Now, this we're gonna explore in this video. So for that, I already opened the Power Query Editor. So let me just show you the other screen. There it is. And in this case, I have just added one table. It's just an example table with a uh, simply one specific column which contains questions. So for instance, who is Naruto? So a shout out to all my anime friends out there. Then what is the capital of Japan? And also who are you? That's my question, right? Of course, this could be several other questions, but these are this is just a sample data. And what I want now is I want to invoke a custom function which we can create inside uh, Power Query, in this case with M, and in order to call uh, the model and then get my responses. And by the way, this will also work in Excel, just in case you want to use it there. Now for that, let's just test it, whether it works. If we go to add column and under add column, there's an option to invoke a custom function. So if I click invoke custom function, then now I need to uh, well specify what kind of a column name or basically, yeah, column name should be uh, the new column. So I could say these are actually the responses, right? Or answers, let's call them answers. Then I need to specify what is the function itself. Well, in this case, it's query one because I did not uh, rename it uh, properly, but I simply click query one now. And now it just asks me what is the column with the questions. So what should the model answer? In this case, I only have one column, but of course, if you have a bigger data set, uh, then you will choose the specific column which contains the questions you want to answer. Now, in this case, it's questions, that's fine. And then I click okay. And then it run uh, the questions and uh, here I got my answers, right? So uh, the idea was now the data was sent to my locally hosted model and the model itself then uh, responded. It just read the question. It just answered the uh, question and then it just sent back the response for, in this case, each of the three different rows which I have in my table. And you can see here Naruto Uzumaki is the main protagonist of the popular Japanese manga and anime series Naruto and so on. And then the capital of Japan is Tokyo and I'm an artificial intelligence model known as LAMA. LAMA stands for large language model meta and so on and so on. So uh, you can see that the answer of course is a little bit longer, uh, but uh, you can clearly see that it works. And this is not done with ChatGPT or with Copilot. This is completely done with an open source free local model, which I can host on my local computer here. So uh, now long story short, of course you will answer, might answer, you ask yourself, um, how does it work, right? So let's figure that out. Now for this, of course, we need to write the M function. And now the interesting part, of course, is what does the M function looks like? So in this case, let's actually check that out. So let's go to, in this case, to do view and then check out the advanced editor in here. And this is basically how this query looks like. So it's uh, not that long, actually. It's just this code in here. And so basically what we do, just to explain what we do here, is following, right? We need to specify what is our column. So in this case, the column with the questions, which is referred here as the prompt, like this one here, right? And this is a text column, that is fine, because we need to send text. So be careful with, for instance, the data type of the column which you sent uh, here, right? Because it is text. Now then, uh, in this case, we specify the URL. So what is actually the endpoint where we sent the data? Now this URL might change a little bit, might be different for you because this depends on what kind of um, well provider you use in order to host a local model, right? There are various options out there and uh, depending on the option, uh, you might have a little different, um, in this case, URL. But of course, this normally is also provided by the software itself if, if it allows you to host the model locally. Um, they give you normally the endpoint and in this case, uh, important of course is then localhost is always the same, but important of course is the port for instance, right? This port for instance is specified for Olama. Now, if you use a different uh, provider, then of course you need to check out what kind of uh, po uh, port they, they run the model. In this case, the, the, their models. So uh, that's it for that. You have the URL specified and then we need to specify the request body, which specifies here the model itself. Now, in this case, I'm using the Llama 3.2, the latest version. Um, of course, if you use a different model, you need to specify here a different model. And then the prompt, the prompt itself is then concatenated with the ampersand symbol and here with the prompt itself, which is come, coming from each row of our table, of the input table, right? That's what happens here. 
We also specify the streaming to false because as far as I know, it is not possible in the Power Query um, or in Excel to stream the data back. I mean, if you know how that works, please let me know in the comments. I did not know how to figure that out, but um, so that's why I set it to false. Uh, that just means that we wait until the model is finished and then we see the complete response and we do not wait. Um, uh, we wait and we do not get each token. So each, for instance, each word um, um, each time new. So that doesn't happen. So it doesn't look like the model is writing back to us. We just wait until the model is finished with the answer and then we get the complete answer back. That's basically what we uh, receive when stream is false. So then uh, we sent a web request. So that's why it's web.contents as the function itself. And then we just specify the headers that it is a uh, application JSON, which is uh, basically standard for web requests, for post requests. And then we convert it to binary, um, the data, and then send it to the model, right? And this, uh, well, the response is then um, received and then converted back into text. That's what happens here. And then basically it returns the response. So that's basically what our function is doing here, the code itself. And this allows us, as we've seen, then to use um, any kind of table with certain questions, and then we can run um, this and call the function as a separate column in here, call the model, get the response, and then have it here. And of course, then could continue, you know, for instance, going to home, right, and, and load this data into Power BI and then uh, work with this data. So that's basically how that works. So hopefully it was interesting to you. If so, please give this video a like and share it. I uh, highly appreciate if you also subscribe to the channel. Um, it took me a little while to figure this out, so I highly appreciate your support here. And otherwise, if you've got questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.